Okay, guys, um, it's September 19th, 2009, 11.30 a.m. Good morning, whoever is watching this review. On uh, today, Sony CyberShot DSCW290 camera. Here is a case I got a few months ago. I guess you already seen this case if you had seen my unboxing video of this. And I complain about being too tight. Well, eventually, we all know, I guess, you know, things do manage to become loose. So it's a perfect glove fit. And it has a magnet up on the top here, right here. So let me close it. Sorry about that, hold on. Let me close it. It catches. Well, my hand gets out of the way. You can see that. But it does grab. So, besides the case, let's get to the camera and I don't want to keep doing 100 reviews like review 1, 2, this will be 1 review if not 2 on this camera itself so I'm going to first start off in the front of it you can see Sony CyberShot it uses the Cura Zez lens here is your front microphone to capture video sound I believe that is your timer um, flash light 12.1 pixel let's see what else this side it says it's a of course it's a, it's a five times optical zoom lens wrist strap connection whichever you call it the bottom is where you would have your media your battery those in here and right above it is the memory stick I use this memory stick Pro Duo but it's a Mark II made by Magic Gate it's a 4 gig which works perfect I have no issues on that at this time or had any here's where you connect to charge it to your computer and download and upload the videos to I'm pretty sure you saw the unboxing so the charger I don't have in front of me but it's a wall charger very simple to use and in the, on the top of it we're gonna go look at there's your speaker to play back video with audio optical steady shot on and off switch shuttle snap snap a picture record video and stop your video there's a model number of course you can see it smiley detecting button the back of it I'm pretty sure I should know by now, but 2.3 screen size possibly. Again, I don't really pay attention on screen size when buying a camera. But we all look at, you know, when we buy it, the box, we don't pay attention. But when we're doing a review like some of you have been doing reviews, you always mention the size of screens on things. I do, I and I don't, I don't know why I haven't, but... Not a big issue. I'm going to try to stay out of this video today as I can. Here is your zoom in and out button. So you have T for telephoto and wide angle. Zoom in and zoom out. Here's your other functions. That's video mode on it. That's the video mode there. There's your program P button. There's your regular camera auto. And there's your easy button there, easy setting, and your other scenes, settings. Playback video, playback photos is right here. Again, you do not have to turn on the camera, which you can see it's off completely. You just got to press this button to play back whatever you're playing back. Turn it off for now. Here's your other controllers down here. 
you can display or no display of your settings up on the screen you have macro setting here with the flower you have your flash on and off and your timer your menu button down on the left bottom right is your trash can to delete so let's get started by turning it on okay this, now what I want to take these guys to I got it on movie mode hit menu for movie mode check out your settings which is on VGA now I don't know why this doesn't lighting stinks today for this reason you got 720 well 1280 by 720 standard and you got 1280 by 720 fine and it gives you also how many minutes you can record so in the fine mode here you got 54 minutes 80 minutes on as standard the VG 160 but I got two I got two videos already so you can't go by those numbers because I already used some of my minutes up already but basically you get, you get a lot of recording on this on a 4 gig card go over there on the side here you can check out different movie shooting mode settings you have auto high sensitivity underwater with housing I'll show you that on our next review I did get a housing for this to keep it waterproof if I'm outside but I don't go in the water and I don't plan to you've already seen these settings here is your EV settings for adjusting brightness or darkness images here's, under, here's your other here's your underwater white balance Underwater 1, Underwater 2, and it tells you like in water, in green water, in blue water, and underwater. Go down to this one here. You have, mold, you have a metering mode. Exposure based on the entire frame. Over here is focus based on center brightness. Go back over here and go down again. <clears throat> okay. Now we are in shoot in standard color mode. Color mode. Wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Normal. There's normal. There's sepia. Black and white. Go down here. Steady shot on. Steady shot off. Go down again. Press. To enter menu screen to set sound, time, and settings, etc. Let's do that right now. So I'm gonna go back and do it. Okay, here we go now. Shooting settings. AF. Go over here. On off. Keep it on auto. I'm trying to make it fast as possible, guys. Grid line. On or off. Digital zoom. Switch over to smart. Position, position, whatever, off. I keep mine on smart. Conversion, conversion lens, off. You can use wide. Telephoto lens, telephoto. I'll keep it on off. Next one, auto, whatever. I can't read some of this fucking bullshit. Orientation. On or off. You have a choice of auto review on or off. Up to nine minutes, guys. So I might have to do a second review, of course. Here is your main setting. Your main settings are. A minute. I messed up. Okay. Beep. High, low, or off. I gotta continue this. Sorry guys for part two. Right back.